welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's August 1st. So that means it is time for a new Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. Yay! I say it every month, but I so love the Creator Spotlight. The creativity and just workmanship, everything you guys show, the passion for this that you guys have is so it's inspiring to me. I love it. I love seeing everything that you guys make. I love seeing the different ways you take the pattern. I love seeing how you take the pattern and change it so it better suits you. Or, you know, you just let your imagination run wild and it's, it's wonderful. This, this is my favorite. <laughs> and I kind of said, um, last month that this and Things We're Making Thursday are both kind of two sides of the same coin. This one, we get to see how everyone interprets one creators work in different ways and we get to really celebrate that creator and in things we're making Thursday we get to see how different people interpret the same exact pattern and they're both so interesting and so much fun I just love it they're, they're both so much fun okay but that's enough blabbering although you might be saying hey Erin I'm new around here and I don't know what the crafting kitty, kitty creator spotlight is other than a gigantic mouthful we will never admit to Brian that it is too long of a name. <laughs> um, so basically, each month I select a different creator and we celebrate them by making new things from their patterns or tutorials or sharing things that we have made in the past. Previous makes are absolutely welcome. They are totally fine. No worries there. Um, I have it all written down so I don't forget to say things. <laughs> okay. So let's just jump in. The August creator is Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I am so excited with this. Darla has so many fabulous tutorials and patterns out there. I have seen so many people making them. I am excited to see even more. And I am very excited to make one myself. I always make an item and that's going to be one of the prizes. There is a giveaway. Hold on to the end. We'll talk about that. Um, so what do you do? You make your things. What do you do with it then? You send me pictures. How do you send me pictures? I got three ways. So first I have a Facebook group. On that Facebook group there will be a post and it'll say, hey, post your Darla the Crafty Yarn Owl, which I, I said it wrong. I'm so sorry, Darla. Um, <laughs> um, post your pictures here. And you can post your pictures there. We're golden. Um, if you don't use Facebook, you can post it on Instagram. I'm asking that you use a specific hashtag so I can find them more easily. Um, I need to. I need to have a search term. So I'm not just willy nilly searching. So the hashtag is going to be KKCS. So Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. Eight two three eight for August twenty three for the year. Um, if you don't use either Instagram or Facebook, you can feel free to email me your pictures. You can email me at craftingkitty at gmail.com. All of this will be in the description box as well, so you're good there. Um, uh, whoa, 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 what am I asking for? Okay. I really need to rewrite how I have this out because I don't think it flows great. Okay, so with any of the ways you enter, I just need you to include the name or pattern number of whatever you made. That's really all I need. Um, if you could share with me like the hook or the knitting needles or the yarn you used, that would be awesome. I do understand that sometimes things need to get changed. Maybe you need to change the size. Maybe you want a different border. That is all part of your creativity and that is totally fine with me. I. I'm not out here checking to make sure you have stitch for stitch the exact pattern. I don't care. <laughs> but if you do that, if you could let me know how you change it, that is helpful because sometimes people see that and want to take a next step or it inspires them to go somewhere else. And that's really what this whole thing is about. It's just about inspiring each other and seeing and encouraging the creativity. That's all I want to do. Okay, so... Also, when you submit your pictures, if your name on the platform you are using is different than what you would like to be referred to on as you as on YouTube, let me know because I make a slideshow and I will put your name on the slide. Um, but if your name 
is Aaron, but you're on YouTube as Crafting Kitty, then there might be a disconnect there. So I will put whatever name you want on the slide, I guess, as long as it's legal and not naughty. <laughs> not that anyone has ever <laughs> gone down any road like that. But um, yeah, I, I will label it. If you're a content creator, I will totally put your channel name down. I, you did it! Let's promote you! Come on! It's all we're all one big community here. There is there is no competition. We're just all having fun. If you're not having fun, what's the point? Um so yes, I understand privacy is paramount, so if you have a different name, that's fine. If you don't tell me and it's like your name is Bob Smith, and you send me an email and it's just Bob Smith, and you sign it Bob Smith. I will do Bob S. So do your first name, last initial. Unless you are someone I am familiar with on YouTube and I know you use your full name as your handle. In that case, I will use your full name because I know that. Um, sometimes, I, sometimes my brain isn't fully functioning and I don't realize maybe I've got... Um, you know, maybe I've got this email from Darla Smith and I don't realize, oh my goodness, that's Crafty Yarn Owl, Darla. And it just doesn't click. So even if you think I know your channel, <laughs> if you could put it down, that would be very helpful. Just so I don't accidentally forget. Okay. Um, okay, so I've alluded to it already. But there is a giveaway and prizes at the end of the month. The number of prizes is, are de is, determined, is determined by the number of entries. So there will be at least one winner and any more is just dependent on how many I get. So there'll probably be something I make. I made this bag from Siren's Crochet for July. And then I'll probably have some yarn pack, something yarny as the additional prizes. I don't tend to reveal those until the day I draw because I don't always have them available <laughs> until the day I draw. Um, okay, so there have been in the past some time and project completion concerns. I totally understand that. Not everybody creates at the same pace. Um, to work with that, whips are allowed. Works in progress are permitted. Don't feel bad. No worries. Um, but the idea is you're working on something and you're just not going to get it done by the end of the month. Send me a picture. That's totally cool. All I want to be able to see is that you are, you're, you're working on something. You're creating something. Nobody has ever tried to pull a fast one. No one's ever been like, oh, here's a chain. I'm doing a sweater. Yeah, no one's done that. But that's really my only rule. I'm not going to measure if you're at least 50% done. I don't have time for that and I don't think you have time for that. So just, you know, participate within the spirit of the event and everyone does. So I feel silly saying it, but you have to say it. Um, okay. Also, please let me know if you agree to have your pictures shared in the slideshow. If you do not, I just had a fuzzy flying through the air. If you don't, that's totally cool. No worries. Just say, Aaron, please don't share these pictures. And I will put you on the giveaway list. You'll get a number. Your name will be on the list. I just will not put your pictures in the slideshow. If you don't tell me either way, I will assume you're okay with me sharing your pictures. Um, you can send me as many pictures as you want. You can send me as many items as you want. I limit the number of entries to three. And that's just to keep things a little level. It gives you extra bites at the apple, but no one person can like run away with it. Um, so yeah, that's it. if um, we do limit to you can win one prize per spotlight. So you've got your name on the list three times. It basically gives you three bites at the apple, but you'll win one prize at most. I do use a random method of selection at the end. It's been... I have a legal pad. I write down the names. Each name gets a number. I use a random number generator on my phone. Well, it's been my iPad, but since I've switched, it'll probably be my phone. And just say, give me a, I've got one through 99. Give me a number. Whatever number the Google thing spits out, I look at that number on the list. Bingo, you're a winner. So it is random. There's no judging or anything like that. Um, so, 
let's go ahead and just get through all the giveaway rules and then we'll talk about the other way. So also for the project completion concerns in this video, I announce who it will be for the next month. And, um, but please don't send me anything for September in August. It gets too confusing. I, <laughs> I tend to overcommit and overextend myself enough. Please, please be kind. <laughs> Everyone is kind. Don't worry. Okay, so real quick giveaway rules. It's open worldwide void where prohibited. Um, the winner is responsible for any duties, taxes, or fees that are incurred with the shipment. I pay to ship it. Anything else is out of my control and your responsibility. If you could please be a subscriber to my channel, that would be super awesome. Also, if you could share this out so we get more people involved, that would be super awesome. Um, in order to enter, you have to send me pictures in one of the three ways we discussed before. If you send it any other way, it won't be included, although the carrier pigeon offer still stands. If you can figure out how to get me a carrier pigeon picture, I'll include it. <laughs> um, giveaway is not associated with YouTube or any other company in any way. We're all doing this for fun. I don't even tell the creators before I pick them. Um, I've thought about trying to, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I figure the only thing we're doing here is maybe generating more traffic and getting people's names out because a number of times I get messages saying oh I've never looked at that person's tutorials thank you so much and I love that I, I love it um so the giveaway starts today August 1st 2023 and it will end on August 31st 2023 I will draw sometime after 5 p.m central time on August 31st um, so if you can get your entries to me by 5 p.m. Central, that is awesome. I do check right before I draw, so any last minute entries could be included, but I can't tell you exactly what time I'm going to draw. We've got kids, we've got dinner, we've got baths, we've got bedtime. It's a chaos every night, and we do the best we can. <laughs> um, but yeah, try to do by 5 p.m. If you get it to me by 5 p.m. Central, you will be included. Absolutely bottom line. Um, winners have to serve, has to say, blah, 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 blah. winners have to satisfy all requirements for entering giveaways in your jurisdiction. YouTube requires that you be 18 years of age or older. Um, the winner is going to have the winners, whatever, whoever gets a prize has 14 days to contact me. So contact me by September 14th and we're good. Um, I don't redraw. I'll just leave it in my giveaway pile and it'll be given away again at some other time. Um, I post a video announcing the winners. Anybody in the comments saying they're me selling your telegraph them or text them or go to this website. No, that's a spammer scammer. Ignore them. Report them. Oh, I don't like them. Um, it's me with my legal pad. So there is a list. It is my legal pad. And that's the only list. Um... It's me with a legal pad with a thing. It's all, it's always something's fumbled, something drops on the floor. It's a catastrophe, but it's our catastrophe and we love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, just please protect yourself. Don't engage with the spammer scammers. We don't like them. Just a note, we are a pet friendly, smoke free home. So we have a cat and two dogs. Uh, the cat just kind of stays in her own area. She doesn't really come in here. Um, the dog... <laughs> We have a lab and we have a Aussie Doodle. The lab, he doesn't come in here. The Labrador Retriever doesn't come in here. He's the shedder. An Aussie Doodle is supposed to be a non-shedder. And I don't think he really does shed. Like even when I comb him, not that much comes off. But he does barge in here occasionally. And you will see Ollie pop in as, you know, Ollie the Destroyer. Um... But I, we try to keep this room as clear of pets as possible. Of course, something might be carried in our clothes. So if you are severely allergic, just enter with caution. But, you know, just a gene uh, generic, general, whatever you want to call it, warning if you are severely allergic. I'm not out here giving anybody anaphylaxis. Okay, so I think that's all of it on that. Now, if you do not want to know who the September creator is going to be, I shall bid you adieu 
and say goodbye. Have a wonderful day. If you are interested, why don't you hold on here? I'm going to do a quick countdown to give people time to shut off their devices, close their ears, do what they're going to do. And we're going to count down from five, four, three, two, one. For September 2023, we are going to do crochet with Tiffany Hansen. Tiffany Hansen! She has a bunch of tutorials available. I think her work is very cute, and I am excited to be able to do a project by her. So I hope that also excites you, and I know we have some fans because her name has been suggested to me by a couple of you. So, yes! That will be for September. But remember, please just send that in September. We're dealing with Darla in August. And I want to see all your awesome Darla creations. And I know Darla does as well. She's in my Facebook group and I'm so excited. And she has messaged and um, or commented that she is very excited as well. And that makes me so happy. Yeah, it, it feels a little weird when the creator knows. <laughs> I am so happy she is excited and I want to see everything and I know she wants to see it as well. Okay, so I will talk to you later. Bye-bye!